Hello everyone. So we're about 20 minutes before the close on Friday, November 18th. And I thought I would just go ahead and do our weekend review right now while the markets are still open. And I know that my, um, uh, my pricing is accurate because of course sometimes that goes away after the close of the market. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's just take a look at our, our three SPX trades and then our one SPY trade. And then I've got a couple extra things I can share with you. So our November 18th trade. So this is the one that has been uh, in trouble. We're rolling it out to try to save it. We ended up turning it from a butterfly into a calendar, uh, or excuse me, into an iron condor. Um, when we did that on last, um, last night, Thursday, because it had an AM expiration in it, we essentially turn this thing into an iron condor that's going to expire on Monday. At the time we made these rolls last night, this position was down about $2,300, $2,400, somewhere in that range. So it has decayed a fair amount today. This does expire on Monday. So on Monday, it's going to decay very, very rapidly. And hopefully, we will be within this, this window here on Monday. Now, if you are in this trade and you do consider the risk to be more than what you're looking to uh, have on at this point, you know, feel free to adjust accordingly. You can go ahead and, you know, bring in some uh, wings if you'd like, um, you know, things along those lines to help take some of the risk out of this trade. Of course, that's going to also decrease what you might be able to pull out of this trade. As far as uh, recouping some of this, it's going to drop your uh, uh, theta a little bit. So, but if that makes you more comfortable going into the weekend, obviously, um, you know, treat it accordingly. I'm going to leave it alone uh, just like this until Monday. And, you know, we'll see if what I did makes sense or not at that time. Um, so the December 16th trade. So we did just adjust this just a few minutes ago. If we ignore our uh, trades for today, it had looked like this with a fair amount of negative delta to it. So because our last trade that expires December 30th also has negative delta, I didn't necessarily want both of these carrying negative delta. Also, as previously noted in our price chart, our market is actually holding up pretty darn well after this monster, monster run. I mean, that's, um, shoot, just shy of 300 points. Actually, if you come down to here, it's a full, um, you know, 300 points in five days. So that's a huge S&P move. Uh, anyhow, this trade is holding up, or, or excuse me, the market is holding up. The volatility has dropped out of the market considerably, which also tells me that the fear is leaving. So people think particularly after the Fed's announcement, that um, you know we might be a little bit out of the woods as far as a hard landing recession goes. So anyhow, I didn't want to carry this much upside risk, so we did go ahead and adjust this trade today. And this is what our current position looks like. We did pick up a little more downside risk in doing that, but we're pretty darn uh, neutral delta and we're just going to let this thing decay here now for a little bit. We've essentially, um, well, I guess we could still have about a $12 loss if the market ripped up and this thing expired. But I, I think we're in pretty good shape on this one at this point. So let's look at our 1230 trade. So this one, as you recall, the market went and ripped up on us here too. And so I chose to add a vertical out here. We sold a call credit spread. That was the purpose of that was to raise uh, this wing to where the market could decay in this area. Now, while I do feel the market has some strength possibly coming back into it, I'm still okay carrying this, knowing that you know we've got this 4,100 or so range that's likely to be some resistance. Um, and I'm not going to worry necessarily about adjusting that at this point. If you are concerned about the upside, you can either, you know, thin back or remove uh, this particular call credit spread if you wanted. Obviously, that is going to also remove some theta decay that is working in our favor. But you could potentially do this to where, again, you would have no upside risk at that point, and you would be pretty much delta neutral. 
and you would have guaranteed locking in at least $270 roughly um, in upside profits. Uh, something just fired off there. What did we, uh, did, uh, let's see here. That was our, ah, that's some stuff I had going in Target. So I had put on some Target earnings trades. That's one of the things I was gonna show you at the end here. These were calendars. I did one calendar, one diagonal. Part of the class is going to be comparing a calendar and how it fills uh, and trades versus a diagonal. So we'll get into that more uh, when I start pulling that class together uh, over the next, you know, probably couple months at this point. But anyhow, so this is the last of our trades here in SPX. We have our SPY trade out there, this bear trap, which we did roll up this right wing on. And uh, so we have no risk to the upside on this trade now. We do still have a fair amount of risk to the downside. Again, we know in this trade that if the market were to sell off hard, and that would have to be pretty hard, um, you know, I'm willing to buy SPY if it drops down into this 340 range. So there really isn't going to be any more adjustment on this trade. What we're going to look for is we're going to look for decay to continue to happen. And this is gonna bubble up here for us. And then maybe we'll end up somewhere in this general range and be able to pull out a nice profit on that trade. So, so that's what we're looking for. But of course, we'll have to see what the market gives us. Uh, the other thing I was gonna show you was this, this target. So this is what's actually left of these. Um, I had done both a, uh, a diagonal which this was the diagonal. It earned 12% in about three days. Um, and again, in the class, uh, the recordings I did on this kind of walk you all the way through this trade. This is all that's left of it right now is I have on five long calls. They're essentially worthless at a nickel, so I'm not even gonna buy, bother selling them. I'll let them expire worthless. <clears throat> if for some magical reason, Target were to get some big move up, which I'm sure it would not in this time frame. I can benefit from that, but again, not counting on that happening. So this one, the diagonal, again, I closed out for 12%. The um, calendar, not quite so good. So it wasn't horrible. Um, I ended up out of that one down $23. But again, I walk you through the entire process as to how I traded these and why I traded them the way I did when we get to the point of doing uh, the calendar class. But those are a couple others that I closed out. Um, see if there's any, oh, this is another SPX calendar. Now this one ended up getting turned into a triple calendar uh, because the market ran up so hard. When I first put this on, the market was down here in the you know 3,800 range. Of course, it ripped all the way up into the low 4,000s. That's when I added this third uh, tent. However, I ended up taking all of that off today and closed this trade out. It was about 10%, 11% in about uh, 10 days. So I know right now it's showing uh, 7 8%, but again, I took most of this off earlier today. I took each one of these off separately and made sure that I got the best possible pricing when I did. So that one ended up, again, closing out at about 10% profit. So that's pretty much it for right now. Uh, wish everyone a great weekend and um, thanks for listening in.